Hello there ladies and gents, and welcome back to my scum single player. Now, as I said in the last one, we're still on the hunt for the hazmat suit. We're still looking for it. But I have been practicing my lockpicking skills with this thing. I spent about 50 minutes to an hour just trying to do it, trying to do it, trying to do it, trying to do it. And within that entire 50 minutes, I got it once. So, hooray. But it is improving. It is improving. And as I said, we'd come down to B3. Uh, not B3, sorry, A3. B3 is up here. Because I very rarely, very, very rarely visit this bunker. And the reason for that is it's actually one, I think, one of the trickier ones to get in. Because the sentry at the front does a very tight loop around the um, main entrance and the same for the one at the back with the hatch so you have to time it just right to be able to get in but yeah we're here the weather's going to change and i thought i'd change it up a bit so as you can see we have the beautiful six shooter serpent so yeah it does look good this thing and the reloading animation is awesome of this and then the little mp5k that we found last time or the time before i can't remember but yeah so let's head straight in and there has been an update uh -huh. since the last episode but how can we put this uh the update was rushed let's put it that way <clears throat> and there's a lot of bad juju where's the sentry Uh Okay. I have no idea where the sentry is. There should be one. Right here. This is strange. I can't even hear the thud. I'm just going to be cautious, just in case it hasn't spawned in yet. But it should have done. I don't even see any puppets. Okay. I think the update has done something to my game. There isn't any puppets. Wait. Uh, game? Oh, hello. There's one. Well, at least we know there's one. I think the update has broken something. But, I'm not going to let that deter me. I will check it afterwards. That is very odd. No, I don't need any more of them. Because that sentry should be right here. And the way I normally... Let me just show you. The way I normally get into this bunker... Is you can come all the way up here. Basically, well, no, maybe not here. But sort of like here. And the sentry walks right in front here. Turns. Goes to this tree. Here. Comes all the way down here. Here it turns and does the same thing. And that's why it's quite tricky to get into this bunker. Because you've only got... Oh, hello. Here, you can't stand here. Because he will squish you. So, you basically have to go... Oh, hello. Well, they've all come out now. Yeah, you can't stand next to those in this bush here because his path where are you there he is let me just get rid of him yeah <clears throat> it looks like you can hide here 
but actual his path comes right through here and he will squish you and kill you. So you can't actually sit in this bush. So the other way to do it is you run from this bush. Well, you have to be really quick and you get into this bush and then from this bush you can get in. That's basically how I've done it in the past. Wow, that's really odd. Oh well. If the game's going to give me a free pass, I'm going to take it. I'm not going to lie. Well, I can hear the beepers. Those. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, I have no idea what happened to that sentry. No idea. The, the update must have done something. That's the only thing I can think of, because I haven't touched anything. Right. Whoops. I didn't switch to single fire. Okay, come on then. It's very dark. Reload. Quickly, reload. Ooh, that was close. Okay, okay. That was quite a lot. <laughs> Maybe it was good I didn't switch to single fire. I'm guessing there's more. I'm just going to clear the area first. As I do, always. Okay. Seems to be okay. <clears throat> I just hope that that beeper is... Not in the hallway. Sounds like he's... Yeah, he's in one of those rooms. Okay. It's clean. Right. Now we can get to looting some stuff. I hope. And try and find this... Um... Goddamn hazmat suit, which is... Ooh, a needle. Which is, seems to be my Achilles heel. The hazmat suit. It really does. Another one? No. Oh. Okay. Done that one. Yeah, that was quite a lot of puppets here. That was quite a lot of puppets. Now there are two armories in here, I think. Potassium. I have hundreds of potassium. But I do need... Ooh, sardines. I do need some screwdrivers. I mean, I've only got this lot. It's all I've got. So... Um... Yeah, and I have no more 9 mil. So that also needs to be addressed. Or at least I have no more 9 mil on me. What I think I will do is not that switch it to single fire and I just wasted a load of bullets there didn't mean to do that canned tuna and I woke them all up and some wire yes yes I angered everybody very much so did I anger everybody and I also have no bobby pins but I'm hoping to find an office in here Normally, ah, there we go. Bobby pins. Yep. I made them angry. Ooh, MRE. Take that. Oh, oh, oh. Uh. Where is he? Uh, he's behind that door. Okay, you can be behind that door. That's fine. You can stay there. I don't mind. He'll go boom in a second. Ooh. Uh, no, I want that, please, game. Thank you. Gunpowder, I'll take it. Anything else? Yeah, so that update... <clears throat> People were very disappointed with it. I think they were mostly disappointed, in fact, with the dial lock. 
which basically made it impossible to do any raiding. Uh, if I... Oh, there we go. There's a full lot. Actually, no, I better keep those just in case. <laughs> Uh, which basically made it impossible to do any raiding on PvP servers. Ooh, box of bolts. Thank you very much. So I think a lot of people were annoyed at that aspect of it. For me, I mean, I am start looking to start playing on a proper PvP. Oh, hello, proper PvP server. So yes, I can see how that can be very annoying. And also the fatigue system as well where they introduce where you actually have to rest now to build up your stamina again, which I think is an awesome touch. But I think, oh god, another Geiger counter. Is that one bigger than the one I currently have? I can never remember, yes, it is much bigger. Um, right, so, what we will do, what I do want to keep that, is we will quickly slip into here. Da -da 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 just in case. And I do have a needle and a thread, so we can craft a sewing kit. And I can repair that to its full extent. That's handy. But yeah, the fatigue system now, you actually have to rest like on a bed or on a chair and sleep to rebuild up your stamina, which I think is really good. I think it's a really nice touch. But I know that people, it was a bit... I would say broken, that's the wrong word. But it wasn't balanced. There you go, that's a better way of putting it. It wasn't balanced very well. So, a lot of people were complaining that if you log out, if you're resting, so you go back to your base, you rest, and then you log out, that time should keep ticking over so your stamina gets fully built. Otherwise, you basically just have to rest there and do nothing until your stamina, you know, uh, your fatigue system goes down again, and you can see it uh, if you look <clears throat> you can see it just briefly if you look where the running man is You can see that little green thing going up and down and that all that all accounts to your fatigue system, so Yeah, it is a little bit broken um, In comparison to previous updates But the one thing that I really really appreciate and like is the bedroll you now actually have a bedroll that you can put out and rest on and it accounts you know it rebuilds up your fatigue like a bed and the one thing I've always asked for is a simple deployable tent that you can carry on your back you know it would replace the quiver like the bedroll does and you just pitch up a tent somewhere, a little bit like DayZ. That's where I think DayZ outperforms Scum in the survival aspect. Scum, you know, in terms of <clears throat> the looting system, the bunkers. Oh, hello. The graphics. And in general, the whole sort of ambience of the game, Scum does outperform Daisy in that way. But a survivalist, Scum, uh, Daisy outperforms Scum in a survivalist way. The things like the fireplaces where it gives off smoke in the towns, in the chimneys, so other PvP players can see that, okay, there's a f smoke coming out of that chimney, there has to be a player in there. You know, it's really cool, and even if it's just on the field, and the fact Hello. And the fact that you can pitch up tents is also awesome. So, Daisy does, in some ways, outperform Scum, in my opinion. And I think if Scum... I mean, this is just my personal opinion, yeah? I'm... Oh, there we go. Medium rifle skills. I, um... I'm sure there are loads of people out there who, you know, can't stand Daisy, who hate Daisy and think it's ancient and old. And it is. Oh. You gave me a bit of a shock there, fella. <clears throat> it is. Daisy is very old. And I think also between Daisy and Scum, I think the Scum community, I think the the, the devs of Scum, Thomas Lav and the rest of those guys actually listen to the community quite a bit 
I think uh, they take on board what we all say and what we don't like and what we wish to have changed. Whereas I think the scum community, uh, sorry, the DayZ devs don't listen so much to that. I think they just do what they want. <clears throat> and I think if the DayZ devs were to listen a little bit more to the community, um, it might be good. It, it might improve the game a bit. And I do want to, like I said, I do want to start on DayZ. Uh, the only problem is with me, it's just a question of timing, which is always a difficulty. Uh... There we go. <clears throat> oh, you sneaky little mare. Don't do that. Oh, I'm out of bullets. Run away! Whoop. That was close. That was really close. This isn't good. I really need to find some 9mm. Really, really need to find some 9mm. Because I am out. That looks like lockers to me. Or is it that phone booth thing? No, it's not. It's that photo booth, x-ray booth. Um, yeah, as I was saying, I do want to start on day Z. It's just a question of timing. Oh, more sightings. It's just a question of timing when to fit it in, which is a bit difficult from my end. But I'll find a way. I'll find a way, because I do want to start on Daisy. I did those two single solo episodes, and they seem to do quite well. And I know that there is a massive Daisy fan base, massive. Um, and another thing I like about Daisy as well is all the modders and how they add. There is a container though. How they add all the missions and things. I know that is supposed to be coming to Scum at some point. The missions. And the AI and all that kind of stuff. Aspirin. So. That is good. As well. Um, take some more of those. Because we're going to need them. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, I think. It's difficult. It's difficult comparing Scum and Daisy because they're very similar, but at the same time, they're also very far apart. In terms of a survival game, I mean pure survival, if you want survival. I'm not talking about uh, zombies or puppets or anything like that. If you just want survival, I think Daisy outshines Scum. If you want... That's my personal opinion. If you want something which is survival ish and has more of a um, more focused on the um, what's the word I want that one's oh no that is open more focused on the sh I'm not going to say PvP I'm not going to say PvP but more focused on the combat side of things, then I would say Scum, because Daisy does lack, I mean D Daisy standalone I'm talking about, obviously there's all the mods which has got hundreds and hundreds of things and weapons and things, but standalone it does lack in the firearms department in comparison to Scum, definitely are we at an armory? 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 we are at an armory well, I'm going to do this first, before I do the hazmat suit. Hello. Because I need the 9 mil, so I'm hoping... Screw over. Gimme, gimme, gimme. So I'm hoping to find a bit of 9 mil. Smoke grenade. Don't really use smoke grenades. Ooh. There's a dial lock. Look. There you go. That's one of the new things. We can lock our house up now with that. Set the combination. Um, what is that on the floor? Ah, it's a raincoat. Another Geiger counter. No. Okay. Right, let's take out four of these. If we can get a bit of nine mil here. Three. Four. But, I mean, for me, being a survivalist, if you like, I suppose it's... Just... Wow. 
That was a loud crack of thunder. Jesus. Well, I did say there was a storm coming. Um, for me being a survivalist... Oh, I got my gloves on. Scum... Uh, sorry, Daisy. I'm getting confused at my own too now. Daisy ticks all the boxes, basically. Yes, it is old. It is ancient. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Uh, and the graphics are a bit... Eh. You know, being so old. But... <clears throat> there are some upcoming games, survival games, on Unreal Engine 5 that just look. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hang on, hang on. We need to do a bit of jiggery pokery here. There are some games coming up on our Unreal 5 that just look spectacular. And I really hope. <clears throat> they are as good as how they look in the um, in the blah, 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 what's the word I want oh, I can't speak in the promo videos and things like that I really really hope so I'll be really depressed if they're you know fake like one game that everybody knows is fake <laughs> which is a shame another SVD suppressor I've already got one of them um that's not 9 mil, but it will do for a... And that's not 9 mil. AS Val, yeah. Um, so, yeah. I desperately am waiting for a couple of games to come out. What are you? There is a AS Val. Hmm. <laughs> we can fit that in there. 308. More AS Val mags. That is a nice helmet. Um, that is a nice helmet. But yeah, there, there, there are some 50 AE tracer. Actually, I've got quite a lot of 50 tracer around. Um, oh, I'm getting all huddled up now with all the stuff I'm finding. A hunter magazine. Ooh. I haven't found one of those yet. Lock mag, I've got plenty of them. Uh, so yeah, basically all I can say is try them. You know, try both. If you're new, try Scum, try Daisy, give them a whirl, because they are both generally good games, really. Yes, Daisy is a bit dated now, I will admit, but it's still fun, um, especially when you get on a PvP server. Same as same as Scum, really, when you get on a PvP PvP server, it is still fun. But could you imagine a game like Daisy or Scum in Unreal Engine Five? With the graphics like that. I mean, I don't know if you, if any of you have seen the demo. But just do a search for Unreal 5. Um, uh, I think it was Tech Demo or something like that. Where they do um, uh, a little drive through the jungle with a pickup truck. Oh my god. I mean, it just looks... It just looks spectacular. It just looks spectacular. I know it's still new. And I know... Come on. And I know it needs a little bit of brushing off still, like everything does when it's new, but it just looks amazing. It just looks absolutely amazing, and I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Like I said, there's a few games coming out on Unreal 5 that I'm really looking forward to. Oh, another pistol suppressor. I'll take you. I don't know what to do. Nothing. We do nothing. Damn, no nine mil. Hmm. That's not good. That's not good at all. Don't like not having any nine mil. But yeah, go check out Oh, there's another armory. Oh. Okay. Hello armory. Ooh. Ooh. AKSU okay, Mag. Ooh, 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 hang on a minute, hang on a minute. What we can do here is but that way. No. Go away. Thank you. We can take that magazine wherever it went. We can load it with some of uh as well. Ah, it's an AK mag, sorry. I made a boo-boo. It is not AKSU, not ASVAL. They look very similar. My mistake. 
Um, hunter suppressor. I do actually have one of those, but I don't have a hunter. There's another one. Oh dear, I'm running out of space here. I don't even have space for the hazmat suit if we find one. Which is not good. Right, four more bobby pins. Where are you? Uh, two, three, four. But that's enough of me blabbering on about scum versus Daisy. We're in scum, so let's get back to scum. Because this is what we want, really. And we want to go for that goddamn hazmat suit. If we can. There we go. Because if I don't find it, and I don't really want to go to the nuclear power plant without it, because that will be a whole world of hurt, so... Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I just don't want to find it off camera. Because, you know, people will just speculate. And go, oh, you just... <laughs> People would just speculate and go, oh, you just spawned it in, man. So, I don't want to find it off camera. Right, I need to get rid of a few things here. Because I need to keep this stuff. I am not getting rid of the SVD. Uh, you can fit in there snugly and you can fit there. There we go. Wow. Okay. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Batteries. Batteries have to go. Uh, empty, 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 empty. Nice. Right. Onward. And I think that is it. I think now we need to go and get the... Whoop. Yeah. So we've gone round up here. I've just got to try and remember where it is, because I cannot remember... Where I found it came this way. Um, where the hell is it? There it is. That's what we want. We want you. Ooh, and you, and you, and you, and you. Not you. You have got loads of. Another one of them. Hmm, that's handy. Uh, wow, so much potassium pills. It's ridiculous. No, uh, it's paper clip. Painkillers? Painkillers are good. Gloves. Rubber bands. Screwdriver. Ah, full of space. Okay, god damn it. Uh, need to get rid of it. Right, I've already got a hunter suppressor, so we'll get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. Right. Okay, now, look at that, doesn't that just look so good? It really does. I wish you could get the stock and his attachment. I really do. Right. Here we go at attempt locker number three, I think we're on. Yes, this is, this will be locker number three. Of course, I need to take my gloves off. Uh, do it the old trick way. Where are you? There you go. No, not the jack o' lantern, that one. Alt C. There we go. We shall see how this goes. Oh, look, you can see them appearing on the floor. That's quite cool. I don't think I'm going to get this on the first attempt. Put it that way. Uh, no, 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 no. Ooh, it's a silver lock. Ooh. And somebody from the World Wide Web said in one of my comments that hazmat suits only spawn in silver locked uh, containers. So I'm going to keep my fingers, my toes, everything crossed for this. I don't know if it's true, that comment. I really hope so. And I really hope those time I've been practicing has helped me. But I don't have enough screwdrivers. Yeah. 
This is going to be rough, isn't it? This is going to be rough. I can see that coming a mile away. I really hope we can get this. I really do. I mean, I am medium lock picking, but then again, like I said, I spent 50 minutes, rough, roughly 50 minutes, maybe 45, practicing on the lock picking board, and I only managed to get the silver lock once. That's pretty appalling, in my opinion. So, we shall see. We shall see. Alt C. Alt C. Alt C. There we go. Uh, uh, did I take my gloves off? Yes, I did. Okay. Wish me luck. Uh, I got 27. I got 20 attempts. <clears throat> Here we go. Looks. Please. No. No. Seven. <gasps> Five. Mm, two, one. No. Nope, nope, nope. I think they should make that a bit easier. That's just silly because you can't really lockpick it unless you haven't got advanced thievery. Really. I am dehydrated, so you need a drink. Um, <clears throat> I think they should, they should go off on that a little bit. Tune it down just a little bit, because well, I went through a hundred bobby pins on the last one. I've been through now all of my screwdrivers that I had here. All right, I don't have a 40 use one, but that uh, it seems a bit too powerful. Really, I've done that one, done all of that. Maybe we can get another screwdriver from one of these, a 40 use one. Nope, okay. Um, been that way, let's go up. I think I've been this way as well, actually. Can't remember now. Uh, oh no, toilets. I haven't been in the toilets. Oh look, bulletproof vest there. And a pistol. 375. Wow, it got really quiet all of a sudden. So you do, you do find things in the toilets. It is good to come in. Uh, PCP, okay. It is good to come in the toilet sometimes. Uh, control room. Maybe a screwdriver. Probably not, though. Oh. Nope. I mean, really, you need... That was a strange sound. Oh, it's the... The wind in here. Okay, really you need a 40U screwdriver and as many advanced lock picks as you can, which obviously I don't have. I've only got the bobby pins. Well, I did have, but now I've only got the bobby pins. That is very annoying. Because I think I've pretty much searched everywhere where screwdrivers would be. So I think what I'm going to have to do is I think I'm going to have to buy some. Because I'm not finding many. At all. So I think... I'm actually going to have to spend some of my money on some 40U screwdrivers and some advanced lockpicks. I think that is going to... I'm not even going to bother. I find those in every single bunker. Ooh. Hello. Have we respawned? We couldn't have respawned already, surely. This would just be bobby pins. Yes, bobby pins. 
Yes, and bobby pins. Oh, no, duct tape, sorry. Yeah, I think I am going to have to buy some. I really hope they're upstairs. Uh, sorry. Not upstairs. Outside. Although they don't sound like they're outside. Which is rather worrying. Rather worrying. Indeed. Oh, hello. Hello. Goodbye. Oh. Ah! Ooh, you cheeky. Where did you come from? Respawned, I guess. Alright, I've got a bleed on. Hang on, I need to check this. What bleed have we got? Hopefully just a C1. Yeah, two C1s. That's okay. That's okay. But I'm going to have to slow it down a bit. I think that that is a sign that we should vacate the building. If I'm honest. It's strange how these dead bodies are still here, but yet the other ones have spawned in. Hmm. That is odd. I did do all of this, but I just want to double check in case I missed anything. This is the kill box. No. No. Well, I think I'm going to have to take a trip to the trip to the shop and get myself get myself uh two or three 40 u screwdrivers. Bobby pins I've got plenty of now, but I'm going to have to invest in some screwdrivers before to use one, and some advanced lockpicks. I'm going to have to start spending some of this money, really. I mean, I've got plenty of weapons and... Right, a little bit low on the 9 mil now. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's what the plan is going to be. Certainly for the next episode, anyway. i got to go and buy some... That's just one box, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Right. If it, I wonder if the sentries spawned back. No. I have no idea what happened there. With the sentries. That has to be because of the update, I guess. I reckon it, it screwed something up. I'm going to have to verify my game files. Yeah, there should there should definitely should be a sentry here. God damn it. Uh well now the question is will that um will that bunk uh, will that locker remain a silver one if I go and buy some stuff and come back, or will it in fact turn Oh, bike. Yeah, I forgot they added bikes as well. With no front wheel. So, we can't really do much with that. But yeah, they've added bikes. Which is pretty cool. Um, It's a shame there's no sentry there. Well, no, it's not actually. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to take the win. The game didn't give me it, so I took the win. Does an SVD and an AWM count? No, because that's not what I'm looking for. What I want is the goddamn hazmat suit. And it is extremely annoying that I can't find it. It really is very, very annoying. Let's have a look at this dial lock. How do you do this? Set combination. Uh, use cursor and mouse wheel to select. Okay. So let's just do... One. Two. Three. Success. Cool. Um, can you put dial locks? I don't think you can, can you? Mm, open drive, no. You can't lock cars yet. Okay. So we got dial lock, at least. One of the new items. Oh, you can. Yeah, you forgot it that way, haven't I? Lock. So, 
now. Enter. Uh, well, that's a bit pointless if it's locked, isn't it? You've got to lock all four doors individually? Wait, that can't be right. Close that. Something doesn't seem right here. Close that. Drive. Uh, well, it didn't ask for the combination, so I don't know what's going on there. But anyway, whatever. Let's get there. Uh, let's eat some of this. A little bit eat. Yeah. Do we come back here and try and get that silver lock again? Or do we go somewhere else and maybe not have a silver lock? Hmm. That's the question. That is the question. I know you're hot, Bob. There you go. Take your hat off. I know you're hot. What is my food and situation? Okay, we're okay. That is the question. What do we do? Do we come back here with a 40U screwdriver? I think we do. To be honest. Because out of the three bunkers that I've been to now consecutively, this is the only one that had silver lock. So, I think what I'm going to do is make a trip to the trader, sell some stuff that I don't need, really. Um, get myself two, possibly three, based on the price, I can't remember, 40 U screwdrivers. And as many advanced lockpicks as I am prepared to pay for and then I think we're going to come back here and try again with that silver lock because that seems promising and the other two were only the the um well sort of bronze locks not silver that one was actually silver so closest traded to me oh there's a drop down there yeah but I need to head home first to just get some stuff to sell but I'll do that off camera. So home, trader, back. That's the plan for the next one. Right then, guys. Thanks very much for watching. That was a lot of me blabbling on. But, you know, I have to say something in these videos. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like. Hit that little notification bell. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you all probably right back here, actually, on the next one.